Topic number one. Ross Bjork has been hired at Texas A&M. From Ole Miss to a and I, I was the one vouching, at one of many, really, uh, saying that Ole Miss should have fired Bjork because of how messy the situation got with the NCAA. You can go back and read all of my articles from back in 2016-17, uh, whatever, and you'll see that he had no idea what he was doing with that situation. He let his football coach run the entire department, it felt like. He was taking orders from Hugh Freeze. They were, they felt blessed, basically, to have Hugh Freeze as their coach. And instead of stepping up and handling the situation, they just let it fester and fester and continue to build until finally uh, something came up with Hugh Freeze and they were able to get out of it, right? Now, I understand that there were legal things going on, but this is... I cannot believe that somebody else would hire Ross Bjork. Now, saying that, if you wanted an AD that knows about booster culture, that understands how it works, at Texas A&M has an insane booster culture. They have got all kinds of guys throwing money at that school, throwing money at whatever they need to, right? So if you're A&M... You want somebody that's going to be okay with it, that's going to let it go on. Ross Bjork is your guy. So if you want to be able to do shady stuff and let the AD just stay in the dark about it, Ross Bjork is the perfect way to go. This continues the uh, the string of, of interconference hiring, right? So LSU takes a, uh, uh, A&M's AD. So now A&M takes Ole Miss's AD, and it's all staying in the family, Right? Uh, you can make whatever uh, Southeastern jokes you want to make. I'm not going to make them. Uh, but that does mean at Ole Miss that all three of the uh, the people that were in the infamous uh, hostage video that came out in 2017, Hugh Freeze, uh, Chancellor Vitter, and now Ross Bjork are all gone from the University of Mississippi. That is interesting to say the least. Uh, let's move on to...